Get off the right wheel. Welcome to another Training Tip Tuesday. Our topic today is Quick Start 101. All right, before you explain it to me, I've been looking at my VO and mm -hmm. at the comp plan, and okay. I think, think I have a pretty good idea of what Quick Start is. Okay, I'll bite. Explain it to me. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's different ways to earn bonuses as I work my way to ET in my first 30 days, right? Or your first 60 days. Wait, I can earn bonuses in 60 days? Some of them. Wow, this sounds a little bit more complicated than I initially thought. I can see how you think that, but that's why I'm here. I'm gonna explain it to you. So, let's get started. I'll break it down and simplify it so you know exactly what you need to do. All right, well listen, secrets don't make friends, <laughs> so tell me exactly what I need to know because my son needs a new bike. <laughs> All right, well let's get him rolling. So, step one of a quick start, which is simply qualifying as an IMR in your first 30 days because doing that earns you a $25 bonus. Wait a second, you mean to tell me that just by getting qualified I get a bonus? Yep, sure do. I like the sound of that. Of course you do, who wouldn't? Step two, sponsor and enroll one IMR, help them get qualified, and acquire eight personal customer points of your own, of which, if you use the eight point qualification, you already have that, and you automatically get $100. Wow, so by qualifying getting one new rep that I sponsored and enrolled, mm -hmm. and then making sure I have eight personal customer points, I'll earn myself a $125 bonus? Nope. What do you mean, nope? Hold your horses, man. I'm gonna explain it to you. When I say nope, it's because the bonuses are cumulative. So you get a total of 125 when you receive the qualifying bonus in your first 30 days, and then another 75 once you achieve the one in eight, also in your first 30 days, for a total of $100. Oh, okay, I get it now. Good, now moving on to step three of the quick start bonus, which is recruiting two frontline IMRs that you teach how to get qualified, and then personally acquiring 12 personal customer points for yourself, which will result in you achieving ETN 30 and earning yourself a $250 bonus. 250? I like the sound of that. <laughs> Good. The rest of the quick start is like a stair step ladder. Once you reach one step, you add on to what you already have to get to the next step. This is what I mean. Step four, sponsor and enroll one more IMR for a total of three IMRs, help them get qualified, acquire three more personal customer points, for a total of three frontline QIMRs and 15 personal customer points, and you've now achieved your $400 bonus. Step five, sponsor and enroll one more IMR for a total of four IMRs, help them get qualified, acquire five more personal customer points for a total of four frontline QIMRs and 20 personal customer points, and you've now achieved your $600 bonus. And step five, once again, sponsor and enroll one more IMR for a total of five frontline IMRs. Help them get qualified. Acquire five more personal customer points for a total of five frontline QIMRs and 25 personal customer points, and you've now achieved your $1,000 bonus. That's a lot of work, but $1,000 is a good chunk of change. I know, right? Just remember, if you achieve all of these bonuses, they are cumulative, so you get the difference of the remaining amount of what's left of the bonus. So taking it from the $75 you would have received for achieving the one in eight because you already achieved and received the $25 qualifying bonus, once you achieve the two in 12, you would get the difference between the $100 and the $250 for the two in 12, which would be a total of 150. If you achieve the three in 15, after you have already received the qualifying bonus, the one in eight and the two in 12, you would receive the remaining amount left, which would be a total of 150. If you achieve the four and 20, after you have already received the qualifying bonus, the one in eight, the two and 12, and the three and 15, you would receive the remaining amount left, which would be a total of 200. And lastly, if you achieve the five and 25, after you have already received the qualifying bonus, the one in eight, the two and 12, the three and 15, and the four and 20, you would receive the remaining amount left, which would be a total of 400. Well, that's a lot of info. But it makes sense. But what happens if I miss my first 30 days because, you know, life happens? And then what happens after I put all that hard work in? Do I still get the bonuses? That's a great question. If you miss your 30 days, you still have a shot at your 60 days because we will give you half of your 30 day bonus if you achieve those milestones in your first 60 days. Wait, it looks like you're missing the 60 day bonus for the qualifying bonus and the one in eight bonus? 
no, it isn't missing. Those are the only two bonuses that are not offered in your first 60 days. Only the quick start for the 2 and 12 and up are eligible to be paid out as the first 60 day bonus. All right, I think I got it. But I know if I have any questions, I can always call Five Links Representative Services at 585-359-2922. Sure can. And as always, thank you for tuning in to this week's Training Tip Tuesday. And from myself and the rest of the Five Links corporate family, have a blessed and amazing day.